and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we are in the kitchen, but we are not making food. We are making makeup, specifically eyeshadow and eyeliner. So when I was a broke college student, and let's be real, I'm still broke paying the student loans, but when I was in college, I still wanted to be feminine and wear makeup, but I couldn't afford to buy good quality makeup. So I did a lot of research, and I was able to figure out how to make eyeshadow, eyeliner, foundation, highlight, contour, chapstick, and tinted lipsticks, even facial scrubs, masks, conditioners, shampoos. I did a lot of research, and I figured out cheap, sorry, they are replacing the roof on my apartment building today had to be on filming day. Ignore the random beeping and banging. I figured out how to make quality makeup that was vibrant, that could last all day long, made mostly from cheap food grade ingredients. Of course, my makeup is not waterproof, but it lasts all day long, and this has been proven at festival after festival. My eye makeup stays bright and vibrant and in place all day long. So I'm going to grab the ingredients and we're going to get started. So today I'm going to be using cornstarch as a base. You can also use arrowroot powder. I'm going to be using activated charcoal in the black. And I'm going to be using the green and the black and maybe we'll do some other colors today as well of mica powder to create the colors. Mika powder is a natural mineral powder and I just bought this little pack on Etsy. There's hundreds of different colors, but this one had everything I needed. I really mostly just wanted the black and the white and then some of the colors are fun to play with when I'm trying to do a little more fun makeup. But I do tend to just stick to black and white makeup. Even using my black eyeshadow slash eyeliner as shadow and using my white eyeshadow as highlight. <laughs> Multi-purpose things here. We like one thing to do a lot. We busy people. One can do many. Alright, I'm going to start out with this little bowl and we're going to start making the green. I also just ordered like little makeup. I also just ordered little makeup containers to like store my makeup in and I can wash these out and reuse them. And I have this tiny little mixing spoon. Scoop out a little bit of that cornstarch. It's mostly about just getting the color and consistency right. So, a little goes a long way with this makeup powder. I'm going to start out with just one little scoop. Mix that around and see if it's making the color that I want. Now there's a couple different ways to use this eyeshadow. You can just put it straight on your eyelid or after you do your primer or whatever your makeup routine is. Or you can dip your brush in water and mix it with a little bit of powder to make more of like a liquid eyeshadow and that's going to be really, really vibrant and stick on. And that cornstarch will make it stick on all day long. Makeup powder is also sparkly, so keep that in mind if you want to use, if you don't want a sparkly shadow. You can use something like matcha powder, or if you're doing red beetroot powder, to darken up the color without adding more sparkles. So you just want to make sure to break up all those little tiny chunks of cornstarch and really get your powder evenly mixed together. Okay, I think we've got this all evenly mixed together. I'm going to scoop it into one of my little containers. It really is that simple. Alright, now we're going to move on to what I wear most often, black. 
On this one, we're actually going to start out with the mortar and pestle because activated charcoal is a little bit too coarse and so we're going to smash it up to be a little bit more of a fine powder so it goes on nice and smooth. And I have not been able to find activated charcoal in like straight up powder. So what I do is I take these little capsules and I empty them to use the insides. Start out with a couple capsules. Sparkly gold. Oh man, that is actually a really pretty color. I'm gonna make a new highlight because I want one that's a little bit more vibrant.
and focus on the nice pretty makeup. Like I said, super simple, super easy, just a few ingredients. It caught, it's dirt cheap, literally the most expensive thing, paying for colored dirt, and this will last you a long time. Alright, I'm gonna clean up here, and then I'll probably do swatches along my arm, show y'all all the colors and the different ways of using this eyeshadow slash eyeliner slash primer slash highlight slash whatever you need it to be. Okay, so I have a little cup of water here. I've got all my colors over here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and be using Q-tips because I don't wanna have to wash my brush in between every color. I'm gonna do one without water and one with water. When I do it with water, I just dip the Q-tip in the water a little bit, dip it in the powder, and then mix up a little paste in the lid. Now usually for my eyeliner, I'll use, use either of these two brushes. This one's like a flat brush, and this one is just a brush that I got from a gel eyeliner a long time ago. Leave a comment if you want to see how I do my everyday easy makeup. Get a little closer here. We have black without water, with water. So this would be the eyeshadow, this would be the eyeliner. Green, you can't really see it, but there's like a light layer of green right here that would be the shadow. And then this is with water, applied with water. Same with the gold. You can see a little bit of shadow here and then the gold line is really bright. Over here we have brown without water, brown with water, and then highlight or white without water and highlight with water. So you can see the difference between like, if you want a very subtle color or if you want a very vibrant color. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope this helps anyone out there who's struggling financially but still wants to look glamorous, even though I got no makeup and a messy bun today. I'm not leaving the house today. I'm not gonna get dressed up and dolled up just for this. Especially because I was out of, you know, black, which is what I use every day. I'm gonna wash my arm off real quick. If you have sensitive skin, this is also a really good makeup to try because it's very simple, clean ingredients, and definitely more sustainable than makeup you buy at the store because it comes in all the packaging and you don't know what the company's doing and you don't know what's in your makeup. You don't need it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where you can see this makeup in action. Sign up for a free recipe straight to your inbox down below. I'm actually gonna be sending out this recipe in an upcoming email. Also, you can grab the recipe to this makeup down below. Let me know down in the comments if you make any of your own personal care products. I'm really interested to see what everyone's come up with and how the makeup works on them. I'm gonna go try and block out all of the banging happening around me. Thank y'all for watching. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.